So people don't necessarily understand how cool it is that we have a lagoon coming to uh, Texas. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Okay, it's such a big deal to understand how a project like this can impact an area. And I have people moving to Austin all the time and they'll ask me, where should I move? Should I move to Round Rock, Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Georgetown, or Buda, Kyle, or Austin, or Del Valley, or it doesn't even matter, Pflugerville. I hear all these places all the time. And I have to take a step back and I say, what is it that you enjoy doing? I know people that hate water, hate sand, hate the idea of a beach, don't want to have anything to do with it. That's fine. Uh, that's not me. I like spending a lot of time outside. So a project like this, what it does is it not only brings um, uh, community and sometimes it enhances the area around it in the sense that the property values may go up. There might be taxes to ensue as well, but uh, transportation, it becomes a hub for transportation, just like the Kalahari that was dropped in Round Rock, which is the... America, America's largest indoor water park. And so now you have this uh, Crystal Lagoon or Crystal Springs Lagoon in Leander, which is incredible. I think it's an incredible opportunity for Leander to do something really, really cool. And if you haven't seen it, we're going to have to look through it. So the city of Leander decided that they want to spend $1 billion on a project. And it's essentially bringing a beach into the middle of Texas. And Listen, I'm not saying there's nothing in Leander, but there's when you compare it to some of these other places, there isn't a whole lot. Like they're just now building their first big HEB, first HEB at all, first HEB. And for those of you who aren't from around here, HEB is basically uh, it's basically heaven that sells groceries. No, it's it's a it's a grocery store that is like the grocery store in Texas. If, if you and I'm sorry for Randalls and anyone else out there, but. Uh, if you move to Texas and you go to ATB, it changes your perspective on what a grocery store should be. Most people. So yeah, a billion dollars, 78 acres, and uh, four acres of it is just the water, the beachfront, right? So it's almost like an oasis in the middle of the desert, right? I'm not saying it's the desert, but you have a few months in Texas. Shoot, a couple years ago, it was uh, 100 days over 100 back in 2015. Can you imagine that? If you don't have any water to go to, that's going to be a problem. And you do. We have Barton Springs and a few other places, and I've mentioned that a few times. But um, it's just, you have the coast. The coast is a little ways away. And if you live north in one of the suburbs, a place like a place like Barton, first you got a park, then you got a hike there sometimes. Then it becomes a whole thing. Or even Lady Bird Lake. That's not a swimming lake. It's like a kayaking lake. All that to say. Or Lake Travis. You're talking an hour or two to plan to go there. It's not like a 20 minute, let me just go there and hang out, right? And so this changes the lives directly of the people that live in the immediate area that want to have a place to go, to relax in the middle of summer, but still be outside. And sure, there are community pools and things like that, but this is like a spectacle. Okay, so we're talking about 25 minutes north of downtown Austin. Not far. Uh, it's right along the toll road, 183, or just off the toll road, 183, which uh, is northwest of I-35. Everybody hears about I-35 being like the worst traffic in Austin. I'm going to tell you, it's really not that bad. If you've ever driven in L.A., if you've ever been driven in Chicago, New York, shoot, Brazil, anywhere else. Anyway, it, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, so one of the things they did is businesses that are coming and committing to uh, put an establishment, a shop, or a storefront in this project, in the Leander Springs project, they're offering a tax incentive of uh, $22 million, you know, all encompassing, so that they can hurry up and get this thing filled for the people. For the people. And now, uh, it takes a little bit of time to build this thing, right? They're, like I said, dropping a beach in the middle of, not nowhere, but they're, they're just, they're, there's a man made beach. Uh, so it's going to take until 2023 before they open their first shops. Now, I'm not sure if the, the lagoon itself is going to be complete by then, but if it is, man, that would be so cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to go. So they're trying to build it like the Domain or Mueller and these other like live, work, play districts. And I was in San Antonio a couple days ago with uh, 
Tim Macy, Jeremy Knight, and Trey Serrano. And um, they were showing me the Pearl District in San Antonio. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is like our domain. This is like our Mueller. Uh, or even our downtown or 6th Street or Rainy Street or one of those types of places where everybody just kind of goes and everything's so walkable and it's a cool place to be. And so that, that is what this is going to become. They're going to have places for you to live, right? They're going to have little office complexes and then they're going to have the shops and then they're going to have the entertainment. And so I can imagine there being concerts out there. There's just so much potential, so much opportunity for live music. Right, right. We know that that's a big thing here in Austin. We know that food is a big thing here in Austin. We know that jobs are a big thing. And so all of them are going to culminate in this one place called Crystal Springs. Well, called the Leander Lagoon uh, or Crystal Springs Lagoon. It doesn't matter what it's called. Just put all those words together in Google and you'll end up finding it. Crystal Springs Leander Lagoon. Yeah. And then don't forget who told you about it. Mm -hmm.